This is a lesson on measuring volume in cubic centimeters. So this lesson is going to be a lot more concrete and uh, probably a lot more interesting than the last one. But here are some of the basics of what you need to know for this lesson. The first thing is um, a centimeter cube has a volume of one cubic centimeter. And you would write that as one and then a space and then centimeters and then that little three. And that means that it's a 3D object. And here's a picture of one right here. Okay, and these uh, these cubes are those little ones, not those linking ones. Those are bigger than a centimeter, but those littler cubes that are different colors and don't link together. Um, that's, that's the actual size of one cubic centimeter. The length of each edge of that cubic centimeter is, surprise, surprise, one centimeter. So that means that this edge is one centimeter, this one's one centimeter, this one's one centimeter, all of them are one centimeter. And the last thing that you need to know is that we can use cubic centimeters to measure volume. So remember how you were putting acorns and sugar cubes and various objects, or pretending to I guess, into uh, different boxes. Now you're actually going to use something that has a measurement and a unit attached to it to measure the volume of um, objects, I guess. Uh, <laughs> so here is an example. It says, this box holds four rows of six cubes. How many cubes does it hold all together? So just take a minute right now and see if you can figure it out and then play again once you're finished. Okay, um, so to figure this out, you could do a couple of ways. Um, you could multiply or you could count all of the cubes. So let's uh, start with counting the cubes. So uh, this is a 3D object. So this edge right here is the same cube as this one right here. Don't get that confused. Okay, so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So that means that it holds 24 cubes. Now you heard me mention um, centimeter, or not centimeters, you did hear me mention centimeters, but you heard me mention multiplying earlier. And what, that, what I meant by that was um, you have to multiply um, how many rows uh, there are one, two, three, four, by how many cubes are in each row. So you go four times six, and that equals 24. And then you, you multiply how many layers it is. And there's just one layer, and 24 times one, well, tw anything times one is, it, is itself. So <clears throat> we could write this extra step, but we don't really need to. Um, but this object would be, whoops, that's not supposed to be a 2, is it? It's supposed to be a 3. Uh, 24 centimeters cubed. The terrible 3. It's way, way too big. Let's fix that. All right. So um, that's how you would do it. So you can either just count them out. Sometimes you won't be able to see all of it in the picture, so you'll just have to assume. Like the example down here. Um, you've got to practice. So I'll read the two and then you'll try them on your own and then we'll do them together. So it says, this box holds two layers of cubes. There are two rows of four cubes in each layer. What is the volume of this object? So you have to count out. Now you assume that the cubes that are, to, are there are um, only the ones that would need to be there. So you, would, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't think that there's um, extra cubes sticking out other than the ones underneath these top ones, okay? Uh, same with the one below. You wouldn't you wouldn't just decide that there are extra cubes poking out outside. Um, they would just be the ones that you can see, and then the ones that are holding up, the ones that you can see. Okay, so it, it's just the most simplest form of the object that you could get, and not anything extra that you cannot see unless it's necessary to build the object. So this one says make this object using centimeter cubes and then find the volume of the object. Now I know that those uh, linking cubes are not one centimeter, but you could build it with the linking cubes if you find it easier to, to, to link them rather than just set them on your desk. Sometimes those get difficult. 
okay? So for sure you have to build the second one and then tell how many blocks. Um, and then the first one, you could build it if you're having trouble, but you could uh, just imagine it. Imagine it. That's, that's a possibility for this one. All right, so I'll pause the video and try it out. Play again once you're finished. Okay, so um, the first one, and I'm going to build both of these just in case you weren't sure what it meant. But the first one um, right here, uh, it has obviously two layers, right? It has one, two. These are the these are the front. So I know I need two layers. And um, if I look at the top layer, I can see what it should look like. Um, and I know that the bottom layer looks just like the the top layer because I don't see any sticking out over here so I assume there's nothing sticking out at the back as well okay so I don't know how many blocks to take yet so what I'm going to do is just start building so I can see that there's one two three four across so I'm going to put four blocks across and then uh, what I'm going to do is count well, there's one back. There's one, two blocks. So I'm going to do another row of four. Okay. And then this is the same as top and bottom. So now all I need to do, and I'll do it in a different color this time, is I'll do another layer of the exact same thing. Just like this. And you'll notice that it looks very similar. Um, and if I change the angle even a little bit, you can see that it looks just like this other one. Uh, the angle is still a little bit off, but you can tell that this top part here is this area right here at the top. Um, and then, and then uh, this area right here is over here, this area. And then on this side here, then that's the same as over here, this shadowed part, the darker part. So now all I need to do is to find the volume, I just count all of these cubes. So I count, and I'm going to skip count by twos. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. So that means that my volume, um, my volume for uh, the first one will be 16. So um, 16 centimeters cubed and then you could have also figured this out by just counting the top layer one two three four five six seven eight and seeing that there's two layers so i could go eight times the two layers and i will get the 16 centimeters cubed and that's how that works so let's do the second one and i'll build that one again this one's a little bit more complex so i'll move this over so that i can see it and you can see it as well and it says make this object using centimeter cubes so um, where I'm going to start is this bottom level here. So I can see that there's one, two, three, four, five cubes. Okay, so I'm going to start with five cubes here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then it looks like there's one, there's another row right behind it. So I will put another row right behind there. Okay, so you're just going to start from the bottom and work your way up. Now, um, the next layer has one, two, three in front, and I can see that there's uh, a, one on each row sticking out here and one on each row sticking out there. So I will grab three more here, and um, there's ones right on top, and I can see right behind that there's ones right on top of that supporting this single one. So it's safe to assume that um, on the other side of this, oops, there we go. Now you can see it a little better. Oh no, it turned off one and it's back. As I was saying, it's safe to assume that um, there's three right behind there. So one, two, three. Okay, so I've got the first two layers. So I've got this one and this one. See it there. <clears throat> now I've got an, th basically the same as this layer again. So I'm going to do that layer again. So uh, I'm out of blue, so I'll just use black here. One, two, three, and then another one, two, 
three. And this is where the QB links come in handy because once it moves, it's hard to manipulate. Uh, it's easier for the camera though. Okay, so I've got there's there's my five across, so I've got five, and then I've got three here and three on top of there. And then you can see that there you can see that one, two, three, four, five, the top of five of these blocks. And so that's the surrounding one. So we've got one, two, three, four, five blocks. And then we've got one at the back in the middle. Now there it is, my last blue one that I had. And you can see that it looks, if I move the angle, it looks just like that picture. Okay, so sometimes when you're not sure if you've got the correct one, just switch up your angle and see if it looks the same. Because uh, you can tell that this is the correct um, thing, if I can just get it to focus properly. Um, but yeah, so now all I need to do is I need to find the volume of this. So I'm just going to count my blocks off. So I've got one, uh, and then this is six, so that's going to be a total of seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. So you should have got a total of twenty-three for your volume um, over here. Okay, so then you could write 23 centimeters cubed. Now, uh, if, if it's something like this and it says build it, then make sure that you build it uh, because it's, it's going to uh, affect the number of cubes probably that you write down, especially when you're not really practiced at doing something like this. Okay, so um, this is what you're going to do is assignment on page 144. 140 to 141 and you're doing numbers 1 to 3 and also number 6.